So the lecture is uh, on the law of charity, which is an endlessly fascinating topic, uh, but I'm taking one particular perspective on it, which is to try to understand better how this body of law over many centuries has uh, developed uh, and sustained a particular mode of action in society. Uh, I call it legal charity. It's different from lay charity and it's different from a whole range of other modes of action that we see in the social world. Um, so there's a history here which goes back to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I and the lecture will look at that, uh, try to get a handle and an understanding on how the law across centuries developed and built up this uh, conception of legal charity. Uh, I then take a look at uh, some of the challenges in the present day uh, to this uh, uh, idea of legal charity as a mode of action. And the challenges are coming from different sources. Um, one source is uh, the desire of charities to be involved in um, profit-making business, so-called social enterprise. One challenge is in the desire of charities to engage in political activism. Uh, and there's also a challenge that uh, arises because of the changing relationship between government and the charity sector. So I look at that. Then uh, towards the end of the lecture, I'll um, have a bit of a look. I'll speculate, I guess, about um, some of the possible futures for legal charities and mode of action in society. Uh, and um, try to, um, through that process, try to really understand whether um, maintaining this idea of legal charity is worth the effort. So that's, that's what the lecture is going to be about. Institutions of public character are a very interesting legal phenomenon. Um, to my knowledge, they are unique to Singapore. Um, the um, character of the government support that lies behind them is, I think, also unique to Singapore. The orientation of these institutions towards serving the community good for the whole of the Singaporean community is, I think, a very interesting characteristic of them. Uh, and, um, I mean, on one view, in a world where you have societies fracturing and um, sect sectarianism and, um, and different groups within societies um, less and less you know, enmeshed, um, to be uh, robustly supporting organisations that seek to bring people together and serve the whole community uh, is, I think, a very worthwhile uh, thing to do. Well, I have about 25 students um, from your LLB and, and uh, LLM programs. I have a few exchange students as well. Uh, so it's a diverse group. Uh, there are different um, uh, perspectives uh, already emerging in the classroom and I'm impressed with the quality of the students. I think that the discussion has been um, really uh, interesting and I've been challenged on some points already by some of your very bright students. Uh, so I'm thoroughly enjoying the experience so far. Uh, my family is with me. Uh, I have two small children uh, who um, travel very often to New Zealand where my wife is from but um, have never been to any other countries and so for them coming to Singapore is a very exciting experience. Uh, so we're doing lots of child friendly activities, uh, gardens by the bay, um, we'll visit the zoo um, and we'll probably visit Sentosa. <laughs> um, but uh, my wife and I are also trying to find time to um, deepen our understanding of culture and the arts and I know there's quite a lot happening in Singapore in that side and so I'm looking forward to doing more of that in the next couple of weeks.